This video brought to you by jadedpainting.com. If you need your miniatures painted to a tabletop standard, check out jadedpainting.com. Hey everyone, hope things are going well with you all. My name is Jay and once again welcome to a Jaded Painting Studio Update where I will be showing you some of the commissions that we've been working on lately and um, just to sh tell you guys a little more about what we do. So as most of you are very familiar, I own a commission painting service called jadedpainting.com. Our website is www.jdidpainting.com, link right here. And we specialize in painting tabletop miniatures. We have two standards. One of them is called tabletop, which is just base colors and a universal shading over the entire model. And tabletop plus, which is actually, you know, each color gets its own base color, its individual washes and shading and highlights as well. So they tend to look much better on the tabletop, but obviously they're a little bit more. I think our prices are really awesome. So please check us out if you want to. And just to show you guys a couple commissions that we just finished. Uh, surprisingly, actually, well, this first army is not very surprising. We've been getting a huge amount of customers asking us for prices and we've been pricing our armies for Warhammer 40k individually. If you go on our website and don't see an army on our website that we uh, have priced yet, still contact us, just contact service at jadedpainting.com and we'd love to give you a price. We'll gladly paint pretty much any miniature. We just start pricing them out one at a time because we understand that not all miniatures are equally easy to paint. Not all of them desire the same amount of attention. An orc boy and a space marine don't require the exact same amount of time. And even within the groups of Space Marines, for example, Space Marines versus Grey Knights. Grey Knights obviously require a little more time since they have a lot of colors and a lot more detail. So we want to price them out individually so that you, the customers, can see them and know exactly how much we're going to charge ahead of time. So, but the oddest thing about this is the majority of the quotes have been for two armies. The first army is Chaos Space Marines. Obviously this one makes sense since it's a new codex. There are a lot of really cool new models for it. And I recently painted up a Chaos Space Marine Warpsmith for Dave from Mini Wargaming. Um, surprisingly though, the other army that everyone keeps asking us for quotes on are Tau, which is very cool since Tau is one of the oldest codices out there for Warhammer 40K, but they did get a huge boost, I do feel in my own opinion, for uh, 6th edition for Warhammer 40K, and that's why a lot of people are like, hey, you wanna paint my Tau? And we love painting Tau, so if you have Tau and you want us to paint them, we would love to paint them. Check out our website. We now have prices for them, each model individually. And you can check that out and see if you want us to paint them. But uh, we'd love to paint Tau. We love to paint Chaos Space Marines. And today I'm going to be showing you two different Chaos Space Marines, or sets of Space Marines that were, we painted up for two different clients. And you can tell the difference between them, obviously, because the first one has a very distinct base style compared to the second one. So that you can tell they're definitely for two different clients. But we had a great time painting up both of them. I love painting up both sets of miniatures, and we just will up paint anything. So if you want us to paint your miniatures, uh, contact us, and I'd love to paint them for you guys. But besides that, now I'll just uh, show you the miniatures. Okay, so first we have this Nurgle Chaos Sorcerer, one of the new um, HQs for the Chaos Space Marine Codex. And it's particularly awesome. The customer wanted Nurgle themed. So uh, what we did was we didn't use any gold on the model. We just used silver and we tried to really rust up all the silver areas and all the metallic areas in the model, which as you can see here on the sword, it's really rusted up as with the face and all the trim on the armor. So that's what we tried to go for. So as is of course Nurgle, we went with a really dark Nurgle color scheme of greens. So a lot of just really dark, gross, pus colored greens all over the entire body. Uh, the only colors we tried to go with otherwise were like flesh tones and slight reds. So red for the cloak and for the gun, but of course we made them chipped and dirty. And then we decided to use flesh tones for the other areas such as the leather of the book and the, so as you can see here, the book on the side, it's a really dirty flesh tone. And for the sides and the armor here, as well as his, uh, all the things on his belt. We decided to make it look really dirty and dark flesh toned, so made it look like almost like the books are made from human skin kind of thing. Uh, for the symbol here, we use a combination of washes so that again, it just looks really decaying and putrid. But yeah, it turned out really nice. And as I said on the back, all the metallic areas are really rusted and red. And we just, as it's just Nurgle, so it's just rot. Personally, I love painting Nurgle. 
because it's one of those armies where you have a lot of fun painting it. You intentionally try to make it look almost bad in a sense, like you're trying to make it look gross and old and rusted and uh, decaying. So it's a really, really fun army to paint up. I had a great time painting it. But as you can see, we tried to do just a really nice blend of greens for all the clothing and the armor. And for the sword hilt, uh, the, sword, the handle of the sword, we decided to go with a bone color. It's almost like a rotting bone texture, really dirty rotting bone. And uh, yeah, it's just, it turned out really nicely. I am, I'm very happy with the way it turned out. I think the client loves this. Uh, for the base, we just used a simple, rather than going with gray gravel, what we did was actually, we went with a painted dark gray um, over some large uh, coarse sand. So that way we can just keep it really solidified and seal it and keep it the base together really nicely. And also we, we just did a quick green wash over it so you can't really tell compared to the green of his clothing. But it's also really kind of a rotting color over the stones. So it was a really nice uh, paint job. And as I said, I really love doing it. And definitely stay tuned for a tutorial for this guy in the near future. So here is the second commission that I'm showing you, which are three Chaos Space Marine bikers, which have been painted to the Black Legion color scheme. So prim primarily just uh, matte black and gray highlighting with silvers. It's not the most complicated paint job, but I think it turned out really, really nicely and I'm very happy with the results. We painted up three of them. Uh, the first guy here has a Melta or a Melta gun and then there's the Aspiring Champion, I believe it's called, with a Power Fist and just a normal biker on the far left with a, uh, I guess it's a boss pole of, of some sort, so a pole of some sort. And the one for the far left, uh, definitely expect a painting tutorial in the near future on him. I will be showing you how I painted them up. Uh, it's not too hard, but it, I'll just show you how to do it with quickly and effectively. So I think they turned out really, really nicely, as I just mentioned. Um, the, the details turned out nice. And the highlighting, as you can see, we did multiple layers of highlighting, two different grays over the black. And when the light hits it correctly, you can really tell. But it's a really nice blend. So we're very happy with that. And the owner of these models decided uh, that he wanted a really cool, he had a really cool idea, in fact, it brought me back to my second edition days. Rather than having the normal black or brown around the rim of the base, he wanted uh, green. So he actually wanted the equivalent to the old Goblin Green, which is, I believe, War Boss Green was what we used on them. So what we did was we just painted sand on the bases to a very up to a very light highlight, and then we used static grass over some areas of the base just to break up the monotony of the bases and then we painted around the rim with uh, a very nice bright green so I think they turned out really awesomely and they look great and they'll definitely be awesome on the tabletop I'm uh, I'm pretty sure that the bikers are now really strong in the new chaos codex uh, please leave a comment comment section down below if they are but I'm pretty sure that's their um, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with, and I think these guys are going to look really awesome on the tabletop. I'll just uh, zoom in a little bit on the Aspiring Champion, just to show you. So here we go. Sorry about that. And as you can see, we tried to keep some nice detail on the face, and the eyes turned out really nicely. I'm very proud with how the face turned out on the Aspiring Champion. We blend it up to a pretty medium tone of skin, but you can still definitely see the wrinkles on his face and the cut as well as his eyebrows and his eyes. We tried to go with just black pupils staring very hard straight forward uh, to where he's trying to hit with his fist. But uh, he turned out pretty cool and I'm, I'm very happy with all three of them. These guys are our uh, Tabletop Plus standard. As we mentioned on the website, we have now two standards, Tabletop and Tabletop Plus. Uh, as you can see, each color or each different color on these models, each has its own highlight and its own base and wash so we pay much more attention to each different color on the model as opposed to just base colors and an overall wash or shading but that is tabletop our definition but yeah it turned out nicely and i'll just move him aside for a second and show you actually i'll show you this guy and as you see 
There's really nice details. The eyes are really nice. We have the white dots in the corners and three different actual colors in the eyes. So it produces a really nice gradient. I think the golds turn out really nice and rich and bright, which is what we're going for. Really clean golds because it's Black Legion. People tend to use their Black Legions as relatively pristine colors. And uh, yeah, they just turned out really nicely. I'll show you the final one right here. I really like his skull on his banner. And he just turned out looking really cool. I think these guys are look awesome on the tabletop. And uh, I hope the owners are very happy with them. I think they are. And they're going to really love them. So that's it. Okay, so as you see, we painted up the Chaos Sorcerer in a Nurgle theme for one customer and the Chaos Space Marine Bikers for another customer. Both of them were what we call the Tabletop Plus Standard. Um, they're both slightly higher standards. They obviously took a lot more time than just Tabletop quality. But I think both customers are going to be really happy with them. They turned out really awesome. They're going to be great on the Tabletop. So please, uh, if you can, like this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you already haven't done so. Please favorite and leave comments in the comment section down below. And as I said, check out my website, www.jadedpainting.com for all our pricings, especially if you need your miniatures painted. We would love to paint them for you. We're located in Canada, so if you're a Canadian, it'll save you a lot of time. And uh, yeah, that's everything. So until next time, this is Jay saying, happy painting, everyone.